hello guys here is Yuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today I'm going to show you how to make perfect donuts I'll show you step by step if you're going to make donuts for the first time you will not fail just follow the steps accurately and with the same dough you may make bread or buns as well so guys let's see the recipe at first I have taken half cup of hot water yes hot water I'm adding two teaspoons of sugar in it and stirring well we need to wait until the sugar melts well and the water is warm in temperature okay now the sugar is melted well and it's warm in temperature it's perfect for adding yeast now i'm adding uh, active dry yeast i'm taking about one and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast for two cups of flour i'm using water for the donors but you may use milk instead now i'm adding yeast one and a half teaspoons and mixing well and i'm going to leave it for uh, for about five minutes in the meantime we're going to prepare the flour so let's cover it and leave it now i'm going to take a bowl and a sieve i'm taking two cups of uh, all-purpose flour it's one cup sieving well and after that i'm uh, adding another cup of flour okay now we need to sieve it also after sieving we need to add some salt so i'm adding half teaspoon of salt according to taste according to uh, two cups of flour mixing well and now we need to add the water the uh, yeast water yes water or milk whatever you are taking I took only half cup of water here because uh, it is less than required. So I'm adding all the water in the flour. In the meantime, I heated some more water and it's also warm in temperature. So after adding this water, mixing well, we'll need a dough and we'll add little by little uh, excess water, excess warm water as needed. So it's the warm water adding water gradually not too much at a time after kneading the dough at the end of kneading i'm adding about one fourth cup of refined oil and now i'm going to knead again and make a smooth dough so it's ready now it's time for rest so now i'll cover the bowl and leave it after about two and a half hour it's the dough it's fully more than double so now i'm dusting some uh, dry flour and i'm going to knead again a little now it's time to make the donors so we need a rolling surface and a rolling pin so let's take the dough on the rolling surface dusting some dry flour on my palms and the rolling surface i'm dividing the dough into two portions okay taking one and now i'm making it round and after that i'm going to roll it so it's okay again dust some flour on the rolling surface and now we need to roll it but we are going to roll it thick not thin because we are going to make donors not chapati or roti it's perfectly okay is the thickness you may make thicker than this so now i'm taking a glass i'm cutting the roti with the glass like this and for making donut shape i'm going to take a, a cover of a bottle lid of a bottle this is a bottle lid and now i'm making holes with the help of it so our donut shape is ready now we'll take the excess dough along with the rest of the dough and make more donuts so i'm taking it out okay and we'll rest the donuts for about half an hour i'm dusting some dry flour on a tray you may add a baking sheet on the tray and add the donuts on it but i'm dusting flour only and now 
okay adding the donors on it and now we need to rest them of course we will make the rest of the donors and rest them also okay let's make all the donors and rest them for about half an hour let's cover it so guys after half an hour here are our donors they are fully nicely fermented perfect size all of them are here as you can see so let's go for frying before going to fry them we need to arrange some other things it's chocolate syrup and it's powdered sugar if you want to make chocolate donuts then arrange some uh, chocolate syrup or uh, melted chocolate and if you want to make sugar donuts then grind some sugar only so let's go for frying the oil is very slightly hot now not medium hot or not fully hot so in slightly hot oil i'm adding the donuts one by one and uh, we're going to fry them on medium to low heat we're going to flip them time to time like this on medium to low heat we need to fry them until a nice red color so guys all of them are done the color is nicely red and now i am going to take them out drain the oil nicely and after that we are going to garnish them in the same process i am going to fry all the donuts the donuts are hot now and i am coating the powdered sugar on the donuts like this it's coated well and in the same process i am going to coat all the donuts if you are making chocolate donuts then coat some chocolate syrup or melted chocolate on donuts i am going to make mostly sugar donuts and only one chocolate donut because my daughter loves sugar donuts so let's make a chocolate donut we need to cool the donuts down before coating the chocolate but my donut is very hot so it's not sticking well it's okay so our donuts are ready i'm sprinkling some sugar on it they are looking so yummy and nice it's a very easy recipe if you follow the steps very accurately and you will make perfect donuts at the first time so guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me i'm going to show you the inner side of the donut that is so nicely puffed it's crispy from the upper side and so yummy and puffed from the inner side as you can see hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching bye bye take care